Orberry has a powerful feature called group by that makes it easy to summarize or group your data. With group by, you can easily answer complex questions such as how many actors are in each rating category and how many actors are in each group. Suppose you have a task that require you to determine the number of actors in each rating and group. In that case, group by can help you accomplish this task quickly and efficiently. So in the previous video, we created groups based on rating, low, average, high and moderate. Now we want to compare the average budget of each group within the ratings to each other. We can achieve this through a pivot table also, but using the group by feature in the Power Query will give you a quicker solution. Doing so can generate an Excel table that directly answers these questions. So in this step, we will review the query we created in the previous lecture. So we can find this query under the data tab, queries and connection. To view the query, just double click it. We can then remove the remove other columns step so that we can see all the columns. Additionally, we can delete the rename column step and add the column name by clicking on this gear icon. And here we can name the column. Press OK. So these are some of the small adjustments that we need to make to make ensure our file is properly prepared for this video. Now we have created our first query where we group the data based on rating, language, actor name and budget source from the table. We can now use this grouping to answer the new question. To keep this new view of the data separate, we will reference the query by right clicking and reference. Let us rename this to report by pressing F2 and report. Press enter. So let me first demonstrate the power of group by before we address our specific queries. So suppose I have highlighted a particular column say for rating. To access the group by feature, I need to go to transform tab and group by. A pop-up window will appear where I can set the columns to group by and the desired output. Since I have selected only one column, I am in the basic view. However, in the advanced view, which we'll explore shortly, we can add multiple groupings. When we use group by function in a report, it creates a new columns that contain information about the grouping. You can choose the name for this new column and also decide what type of calculation you want to perform. You can use it to count the number of rows or to perform mathematical operations such as sum, average, mean, median, minimum, maximum and more. So let us click on the count rows which is our default option to see the final results. However, the column is currently disabled because all rows are of the same height. So therefore, there is no option to choose from. We can proceed with the current setting and click on OK. So as we notice that all the other information disappeared when I selected the single column and created a new one. The new column contained the count of actors in each rating category such as crime, drama, musical and so on. So if I want to modify the query, I can click on the gear icon and choose to calculate the total budget instead of the row count. So by selecting the sum option and choosing the budget columns that contain the numerical data, I can obtain the total budget for each rating category. So we have some questions that we need to address. One of the things we want to do is to group the data by rating and also include the new grouping that we created. To achieve this, I will click on the gear icon once again and select the advanced tab and then I will add a new grouping. The second columns contains a low, average, moderate and high budget information for each group. So I'll select the group as the second column. My goal is to count the number of actors in each rating and inside each group. So I'll change this operation to count rows. Additionally, I want to obtain the average budget of each group. Let us add an aggregation to the budget and change the column to budget. Assign the column name to average budget and press OK. Let's format the average budget column to currency. Sort the group column in ascending order and also sort the rating in ascending order. So as we notice that the rating action has the highest average budget compared to all other rating groups. So additionally, I can easily view the number of actors in each group and rating by selecting the group by option. It is that simple. I just need to make sure that I double check all the data types. So it seems to be correct. I will send this data back to Excel. So home tab, close and load, close and load to. So I'll select existing worksheet. Select the aggregate data tab and paste my data over here. Press OK. So that's it. Our final report is done. So I hope you have liked this video. Please subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next video.